place, we had access to so much technology. There's more computing power on my cell phone than was on all the Apollo missions to the moon put together. You need to calculate the amount of thrust needed to get the lamb to a certain altitude to dock with the command module while accounting for the velocity of the CM and the relative rotation of the moon and the weight of lunar rocks in the cargo hold? No problem, there's an app for that. All this technology, yet we still complain, man, the internet is really slow today. Like someone complaining that there's a water spot on the dinner knife that they're about to use to cut into a filet mignon. <laughs> really, the internet's a little slow, people? Well, there's a reason for that. And probably for every other techno technological thing we complain about. So this episode, we've got a little info and a little advice about using technology in the residence hall. Let's start with that slow internet. Imagine our wireless internet in the residence halls is like a highway. All of that data is going out and coming in. Now, usually the road is wide enough. At 10 in the morning, it's like driving a Lamborghini on the Autobahn. <laughs> but around 7 p.m. until 2, that highway is like the DC Beltway at rush hour, bumper to bumper traffic. Everybody in the residence halls seems to want to study at the same time. We're busy reading online journals, Skyping with research teams from other universities, and using online programs to help us solve dynamic systems and differential equations. Seemingly all 8,000 of us in the halls are doing the same thing. Now, the folks in Miami's IT services has expanded the highway, added more on and off ramps, and has made it so we don't even need to get on the highway. They do this by creating a cache of common content on servers within our network, so we don't have to use bandwidth to get the content from the internet every time another person wants the same research article. So the more popular online textbooks actually use less bandwidth than the unique or rarely viewed textbooks, and that helps. They also reroute traffic on our highways to other highways that aren't being used as much when we're studying, which also helps. But there are a few things that we can all do to help speed up our internet. First, for those who brought a printer to college thinking you'd be printing all of your papers, never use the wireless function on your printer. This actually interferes with the wireless around you. Great, so not only do the guys in the room down the hall blast Rick Astley all afternoon, <laughs> but now they're screwing with my internet because they're lo too lazy to plug their printers into their computer when printing journal abstracts. <laughs> the second thing you can do, and this goes for everybody, but especially for the gamers, if you're gonna be sitting on your bed for four hours reading an online novel for your 19th century Russian literature class, do us all a favor and plug in your laptop with an ethernet cable. I know not every laptop has a port, but most do. The pages of Yevgeny Onegin <laughs> will turn faster if you're plugged in. There are at least two ethernet ports in every room. Now, the serious gamers already know to plug in. They wouldn't dream of destroying someone's nexus with their summoner over Wi-Fi. It's the casual gamers that really slurp up lots of bandwidth. They're not even paying attention to me right now. Can, can we get your attention? Hey, hey fellas, plug that Xbox in. Quit using up all the Wi-Fi. Hey, do you hear me? <laughs> anyway, when your ethernet cable is plugged in, your internet is 10 times faster. The third thing we can do is stop using six wireless devices at the same time. <laughs> now you're laughing, but if I had a dollar for every person I've seen using a phone, a laptop, a tablet, and a gaming console at the same time, well, I could afford to buy a new phone, laptop, tablet, and gaming console. People, it's just unnecessary. Pick a device and turn the rest off. For any technology issues you have, start by checking out Miami Knowledge Base. Chances are, if you have a technological problem, someone else has already had that problem fixed. Can't cast your Roku to your TV? Can't connect your device to wireless? If you can't find the solution on Knowledge Base, then just call the support desk. Finally, a word or, a word or two about technology and human relations. First of all, when you're walking into or from the residence hall, look up. You might be missing something important. <laughs> Let's make a little eye contact with each other. Second, don't text, tweet, message, snap, or post anything to anyone that you wouldn't say directly to a person's face. Assume that everything you say and post online will get viewed by President Crawford, or your grandmother, or even the Pope. 
<laughs> if you post it, it's public, my friends. Now get back to that homework. For such a life, I'm Ben Nagatu. And for more such a life, go to YouTube and search Res Life at Miami University.